begin with S. Hmm. Oh, hello. Welcome to our cafe. The best cafe in the world. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of all the words that I know that begin with S. Because my name, Small, begins with S. Look. Way. Now, let me think. Oh, <laughs> hello, everyone. Hello, Small. Hello, Ben. Right. What other words? What are you doing? Oh, I'm just trying to think of all the words that I know that begin with S. So far I've got small, sand, saucer and snake. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. The letter S does look like a snake, doesn't it? All wiggly. <laughs> letters are funny things, aren't they, Ben? <laughs> they are, aren't they? Do you know all your letters, small? Do you know the whole alphabet? Well, of course I do, Ben. In fact, I know a rhyme to remember the alphabet. Oh, I think I know which one you mean. Do you know that song too? Why don't you join in and sing with us? OK, OK. I'll go first. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F. What comes after F? Oh, I know. G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. <laughs> oh. I don't know what comes after P. Oh, neither do I. <laughs> we can't remember what comes after P. I'll tell you what I do. I'll write down all the letters that I know in the alphabet, and that might help remind me. No time to worry about the alphabet now, Small. We've got a customer. Well, the customers come first, Ben. I'm on my way. Woohoo! <laughs> Who's our customer today, Small? This is too good to be true, Ben. You'll never guess who it is. Oh, you always say that, Small, and I always guess. Well, nearly always. <laughs> I'll give you a clue, Ben. Her name rhymes with what she does. Oh, well, that should be easy. Is it... Oh, Hilda the Builder. No. Uh, Mrs Proctor the Doctor? <laughs> no, Ben. Oh, I know, I know. Is it Mrs Meacher, the teacher? Yes, and she's right here in our cafe. Oh, my. Well, whatever shall we cook for a teacher? I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's Adventures in the Big World. Let me see. Mrs Meacher always wanted to be a teacher. On the first day in the classroom, she wore sensible shoes, a sensible dress, and put her hair up in a sensible bun. Perfect. She decided to start by teaching the children the alphabet. This is the letter A. It sounds like A. A is for apple. She looked at the class and they all stared back at her. They were absolutely bored. By the time Mrs Meacher reached the letter Z, the whole class were fast asleep. Mrs Meacher was very upset. She ran out of the classroom, out of the school door, out of the school gate and right into me. Bang! I'm a hopeless teacher, she said. My class have all fallen asleep. I think you might be being a little bit too sensible, I said. Will you let me help you? So we went into a shop and we bought a bright red wig, a sparkly catsuit and some big glittery boots. That'll wake them up, I said. This makes me feel like having fun, said Mrs Meacher. And instead of just saying the alphabet, she said it in rap style. <laughs> a is for Angela, who lives in America. She sells apples to the people around her. 
B is for Barbara, who lives in Barcelona. She sells balls to the people around her. C is for Caroline, who lives in Canada. She sells carrots to the people around her. The children cheered, they laughed, and they learned their ABC. You're the best teacher in the world, Mrs Meacher, they cried. Mrs Meacher never wore her sensible clothes again, and her lessons were always fun, fun, fun. Little Cook to the Rescue once again! That was a great adventure. Oh, yes, Small. I loved all the alphabet wrapping. Way! But I still don't know what comes after P in the alphabet, Ben. No time for that now, Little Cook. We need to think of what to cook for Mrs Meacher, the best teacher in the world. Of course we do, Ben. Hmm. Ooh! Ooh. Oh. oh. I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course! The Big Cookery Book! There's recipes for everything in there! And where do we look for things to cook? In the book! In the book! In Big Cook's Book! Oh yes! Here it is! Alphabet Crunch! It's a recipe that has all the letters in the alphabet in it! Oh, Mrs Meech is gonna love that! Well, we can't make the letters after P, Ben, because we can't remember them! Never mind, Small. There's plenty of letters that we can remember. We'll make those. Now, come on, you read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need butter. OK. Over to the fridge. Here we go. There we go. Butter, yep. Milk. Milk in the fridge as well. Got the milk, Small. Self-raising flour. Self-raising flour in the cupboard. Got the flour. Caster sugar. Caster sugar, yep. Honey. Honey. Mmm, yummy, yummy honey, yes. And muesli. Muesli, here we go, yep. Brilliant. Here we are. Everything we need for alphabet crunch. Funny stuff, muesli, isn't it, Small? Have you ever wondered how it's made? I can't say I have, Ben. But I could soon whiz off and find out. Great idea, Small. And I'll get everything ready. A breath of fresh air might make me remember the letters that come after P, Ben. Hey, why don't you come too? Way! Go, Small, go, Small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. This is the right place. Let's take a look. This is where muesli is made. Muesli is a kind of cereal that we sometimes eat at breakfast. It has lots of different ingredients. It's made from oats from the farmer's fields, fruit and nuts. These are raisins. Ooh, do you know what those are? They're banana chips. The muesli is being weighed so that the same amount goes into each packet. Now it's packed, ready to go to the shops. Wow, that was really exciting. See you later. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. I'm back! <laughs> Hello there, Small. Oh, I was just about to remember what comes after P in the alphabet. Has a breath of fresh air helped you to remember? No, it didn't, Ben. But I did find out all about muesli. You wouldn't believe how many things that go into it. It's full of yummy things, which is why it tastes so yummy. <laughs> exactly, Ben. Then let's get going. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Jelly boats and pirates gold, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruit smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat.
Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All clean and ready to cook. Do you remember the ingredients to Alphabet Crunch? You do. There was butter, three tablespoons, milk, one cup, self-raising flour, 200 grams, caster sugar, 100 grams, honey, one tablespoon, and muesli, two cups. Whoopee! Let's get started! We're going to have the most delicious letters that Mrs Meacher has ever tasted. You start the cooking, Ben. Woohoo! Now, I've already started to write out the letters that we sang earlier. OK, and if I carry on singing them, hopefully I'll find out what comes after the P. The first thing I'm going to do is turn on the oven to 160 degrees Celsius, gas mark 3. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do that bit for you because the oven is hot, hot, hot. OK, now the next thing we can do is pour the muesli into a large bowl. And then stir in the milk. Just like you do with your breakfast cereal. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. <laughs> hey, Ben, look at this. We can stick it somewhere really important when it's finished. That's if I remember what comes after P. <laughs> Splendid. You keep going, Small. And we've just got to let the muesli soak in the milk for 30 minutes. So, we have to do some waiting. I'll set the timer for 30 minutes. There we go. Ah, time's up. How are you getting on, Small? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. Oh, -hoo -hoo! it's going very well, Ben. Oh, good. So's the alphabet crunch. Now it's time to add the butter. In it goes. And the sugar. And the lovely honey. Tip it in. And let's give it a good old mix-up. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, Q! That's it! I remembered it, Ben! Well done, Small. I knew you would. Keep going. You might remember the whole alphabet. <laughs> now it's time to add the flour. In it goes. And then we stir it up again, like this, until we've got a nice sticky mixture. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, and V. What comes after V? Don't tell me. I can't remember what comes after V. Oh, you can't remember what comes after V. <laughs> right, now, this is the fun part. I'm going to take the mixture and I'm going to use it to shape the different letters from the alphabet. OK? I'll use my nice, clean hands to pick out some of the mixture. And I'm going to start to shape it into the letter A. Now, this mixture is nice and thick. But if yours isn't thick enough, you can always add a little bit more flour. I'll just roll it in my hands like that. And then onto a grease baking tray. And some more. There we go, the letter A. <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember what comes after V. <laughs> there we are. Look at that. We've got an A, a B and a C. Now all we have to do is pop them into the oven. So, oven gloves on and over we go. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to put them in for you because, remember, the oven is hot, hot, hot. In they go. For 25 minutes, until they're golden. I'll set the timer. For 25 minutes. 
These are cooked now, and I've put them onto a cooling rack to cool down. I haven't remembered the end of the alphabet yet, Ben. Hard luck, Small. I tell you what, while we wait for these to cool down, why don't we sing the alphabet rhyme one more time? OK, let's do it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U and V, W... That's it! W! I've got it! Oh, well done, Small. You're so clever. Now let's see if the alphabet crunch is cool enough to serve to Mrs Meacher. She must be really hungry by now. Oh, yes. Here we go. Onto the plate. There. A, B, C. Perfect. They look great. Yes, they do. Let's get them through to the best teacher in the world. Alphabet Crunch coming up. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben and my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients well put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha, here comes the plate. Ho ho! It looks like Mrs. Meacher enjoyed her alphabet crunch. And look, Small, she's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, the alphabet crunch was delicious. <laughs> As you know, I love letters, but I never expected to be able to eat them. <laughs> to say thank you, here's a little present. What is it, Ben? What has she given us? Oh, Small, it's an alphabet book with all the letters of the alphabet in it and pictures of things that begin with those letters. Brilliant! Now I can finish off my alphabet, Ben. Come on, let's sing those letters. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U and V. W. What's next? Tell me, Ben. It's X, Y and Z. Hey, those were the letters that we couldn't remember. There. All done. I've written out all the letters. Brilliant. It was as easy as ABC. <laughs> See, See you, you soon. soon. Welcome to our cafe. Big cook, little cook. We'll cook for everyone.